Hello, welcome back to the Geek's Garage. This is like my fourth fourth video today. I'm gonna roll with videos today. Um and incidentally it's also my fourth Xbox today. I never work on Xboxes and then all of a sudden bang 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 they come in. This one powers on and works but the power button isn't working so let's have a little look see what we're talking about plug HDMI lead in feels as though there's nothing behind it which is unusual because it should have a full board here and jack right the jack button works and the power of the xbox light is working and it's coming on so yeah true what they say it's working the power button is doing absolutely nothing so put that to one side, let's not forget that that belongs with this, it's not mine. Um, just wait for it to load up before I switch it off because there's no way of turning it off. I suppose I could turn it off with the controller. Oh, do a great deal on the Xbox. Um, I just need to make that screen bigger because I can't see it. Turn off console. I'll do. Right, console's off. Take the power. Let's open this up and see what we've got. Let's see if it's happy to open. I'm not the first person in this. It's got a warranty sticker from somebody else. Ran out of gloves. I have ordered some. I have some really cheap and nasty ones down there, but they just smell like balloons. Since the lockdown, or since COVID, struggled to get gloves. And the ones that you can get. I can get the ones I've always got 
but they've more than doubled in price. Which is a bit disheartening. The controller's there for the button, for the power button. Well, we know it's there because it lit up, didn't it? So. Ah. Oh. The button's missing. The button's completely missing off the board. I don't know if I've got one of them in. Let's have a look at it together. Uh, scope. Can we see it? Yes. That's where the button should be. There is some of the button still remaining. But yeah, you can see there. Power SW1. And the buttons smashed. Right. Let's see if I can. Let's take this board off. I'm going to be dealing with flux, so I'm going to have to put some of my cheap gloves on. Oh, they're awful. They're really awful. It's my own fault for running out. I run out because I'm too tight to pay double the price. <laughs> they literally do. They smell like rubber uh, party balloons. And they are horrible. They're dead slippy. They're awful. They're not good. We'll just take this uh, sister board off, make it easier to work with. We will clean up the um, Holder sticks up quite a lot. What's on the back of where that button should be? Okay, a couple of bits and bobs. Not over there, not over there. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, that's on a board holder, that'll do. Alright, let's have a little look. What are we looking at? There we go. First things first. Let's take off the remainder of that button. And see what's left. See that? It's quite messy. Wow, it's very messy. Let's take these glasses off. Let's see through my scope when I've got the glasses on. Yeah, it's sort of glued down as well. Right, let's hit it with some solder, see if we can take it off without hot air, that would be ideal because there's some components behind this board that I don't want to disturb. And my solder line still too hot, let me just turn that down. Ok, 
Okay. Some solder. This will do. And we'll just back this off slightly. need some hot air to remove this last bit. Maybe not. Okay. It appears to have six pads unusual for a switch. Have a little clean see if we can see. Gloves are absolutely awful. I just need to add a bit of light. I know you can see better like that, but I really can't. Right. Come back here with another little touch up from the iron. See what we're looking at with these pads. Every time you come in with your iron, especially after cleaning, you need some flux. <coughs> yep, that's right, and then you've got to clean again. I'm assuming these ones on the left are ground because they're sucking a lot of heat out of the iron. Yeah, I can see it on the ground plane. Right, looking at this, from what I can see so far, four pads on the left are all together the two pads on the right top and bottom they're, they're different yeah so although it's got six pads it's actually only got four because this one this one this one and this one are all the same this one and this one's the same so to get powered on this one needs needs to touch the, any of these four or this one needs to touch any of these four so they're the same they're the same now do I have a button that we can use Now 
I hope so. These are my micro buttons, and that it's it's all the micro buttons I actually have. So let's compare sizes. Oh, that looks too big. There's seven, definitely too tall. And this one's a nice button, it has six pads, it does have six pads but it's, it is the wrong button. But it's a good solid button, but I think it is too big. Height wise it's fine, oh yeah it's well too big. Uh, this one. I think this is the best bet we have. It will, it'll either work or it'll be too tall. Let's pair it next to one of the other buttons. Height wise, it actually looks alright. It's a little bit tall. It is a little bit tall, but it's the closest I've got to it. The closest I've got to it. Okay. Oh, it is very large. This is very large. Underneath, like okay, it's the only one I've got, it's the closest one I've got to it, so we will have to try it and hopefully it will fit back in the case. Fingers crossed. Solder, and we will attempt to do the earth first, I think. Fingers crossed, we have a switch that's connected. It appears to be connected. Let's give it a little clean. And brushes they are. Okay. Um.
have a little look. on, it's working, whether it will work for us is a different story, whether we can get it in, whether it's in the right position, whether it doesn't stick up too far, um, the options we've got other than this is to take one off a donor board but as I don't do many Xboxes, I don't actually have a donor board for this one. Well, I've got a donor board, but I don't have this part of it. So, okay, that's good enough for me. Let's. Let's put it back in the device. Just let me answer the missus. She won't leave me alone otherwise. I could just plug it in and just try it but I want to I think the switch obviously will work for its intended purpose I just want to make sure it actually fits in the housing which is more important if it doesn't fit in the housing or when it's in the housing the buttons continue to press because it's a bit too tall then we will have to try something different I don't know anything, I don't have any smaller profile switches to be honest. They're the ones that are used for um sorry phone. Right, let's stick it in here and Fingers crossed, it's okay. button holding it from going in. <laughs> okay. Do you have a click? No, I think it is sitting too proud. I think it's continuously pressed. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. I don't know, actually. 
actually. Let's plug it in and see. I don't need to plug it into the um, thingy at the minute, do I? Continuously pressed, unfortunately. Um, now, a bit of plastic in there. button but it's not what a shame if I plug the power in now but it's not in its casing Try that button. It works. What a shame. I wonder if there's more clearance on any of the other buttons that we could swap them around. don't think we can on the eject button there's very little movement on that one too although it would be easier to file that down a bit in fact that's what I'm thinking thinking we might swap the eject button over this is the power button um, is there any room to file that down? Oh, there is a bit you know Might file it down and such to make a bit of room. Well, that's come on. Right. And it goes back off. Hmm. I think. I mean, I'm, it's not a huge. It's not terribly big. I'm wondering this button here if it's worth swapping that one over so that's this one here I wonder if it's worth swapping that button over do we file down the case a little bit to accept the button? Um, I mean, you're talking one mil, one and a half mil. Right, I'm going to file down the case a little bit and we will try again I'm just going to file down this part here a little bit um, I'm trying to look to see if it, I can see where what part of it the button's been pressing on but you can't really see but I'm going to file that down a little bit if I hold it here can I see right, the button that we've changed is right in the top corner when this comes on I think it is sticking on this part 
So I am talking to myself, waffling. I'm just going to file this down a little bit. See if it helps us. clicky button. Right, let's put some screws in so we know it is where it should be and then we will try it again. Our power button. Yes, we're done. We're done there. Happy days. sat on a black screen no there it goes right, okay turn it back off lovely lovely stick the bottom on days so power button wasn't working to be honest it couldn't really have been many things really <laughs> either that board was going to be missing but when it lit up we realized it wasn't so it, it really wasn't going to be much else other than a missing button it could have been maybe we were lucky it was a missing button so we've replaced it I haven't replaced this disc though have I yeah, we'll stick it on the top so we've replaced the button it, the button was sat just a little bit proud so we filed the plastic down on the inside of the casing and now it's perfect 
just my factory lovely it's got a nice clip to it it's working a treat what else can we say thanks very much if you like the video please click the like button if you want to see any more videos um, hopefully I'll be doing at least one a week I'm, I have been putting more on at the moment but it will mellow out and I'll pretty much do one a week I'm just trying to build the channel up so if you like my videos please hit the subscribe button and see you next time thanks very much